Hello everyone, welcome you all in this video. Today I will demonstrate how to write manuscript in LaTeX. LaTeX is a document preparation system based on a type setting system called TAC, developed by Donald Knuth in 1974. TAC is a Greek word meaning art or skill. Later in 1985, Lampert enhanced TAC by including a set of macros. And this new system adopt a part of Lampert's name to become LaTeX. So, academic researcher in the field of mathematics, physics, computer science and engineering are drawn to LaTeX because of its exceptional typesetting. So, let us start the video. Manuscript or research paper can be prepared from LaTeX template. Mostly journals have their own template. So either we can download GIF file from journal home page or we can prepare article by using Overleaf. So let us type Overleaf and go to this first link. You need to log in in Overleaf. So first you have to register by clicking on, on this icon and I have already the account in Overleaf. So I am typing my credential here. Then password. You can log in with your email, you can log in with your Google or Twitter ID or in addition you can log in with your Orchid ID. So let us log in with your email. This is the first screen you will find in the overlay. Here you can click on the new project. So you will find a list. Here, you can create a blank project. You can upload your own project here. Or you can use any templates. So by using templates, you can prepare academic journal article, book, formal letter, assignment, poster, presentation, project lab, resume, thesis. So let us, we are going to write a general article. So click on the template. So here are a large number of templates available for different types of journal. So you can search any journal in which you want to submit your article. Let us suppose we are going to prepare the article for the AIP conference proceeding. So, I will type the AIP conference proceedings. So, search here and the template is available for the AIP conference proceeding. So, by clicking on this, you will now have three options. You can view the PDF as a sample or you can view the source code. So by clicking on source, you will find the LaTeX program file. So you can copy from here and you can paste in your tech file in your local computer program and you can run. But I will suggest to open as a template. So this is now opening template. Yeah, template is now ready for use. Here are the list of the files that associated with AIPCP sample tag file. So one is basically the bibliography file. There are two figures. So before proceeding to prepare the article, you need to upload the figures. So if you have if you have figures 
then you can upload them from this icon so upload by clicking over this select from your computer suppose i am selecting these two figures here figure 1 figure 2 you can select multiple figures or you can select single figure click on the open and now they are added here then you can see the one more file that is the aip sample dot bib this file basically have the references of your paper so we if you can click on this you will find the list of references so we need to change this so click all the references here and delete it now you can create your own references by copying from your manuscript or you can search on google so there are two methods through which you can search the references on internet so i am going to tell you both the methods here first we will search the google scholar open this site now you can search any keyword here like i have already searched some keywords like cobalt ferrite so search this item and you got the references here this is the list of references you can search by author name you can search by title you can search by the book or journal name suppose i would like to include this reference in my manuscript so click over the site now this is the reference to include this you have to click on the bib tags so by clicking on bib tags you will get the reference in this format then select all and copy this and paste into your dot bib file so i am pasting it here so this is the id of this reference so you can cite this reference in the manuscript by mentioning this id so this is the one way to search the reference on internet now we can use some alternate ways for this again i am opening the google now type the pub pub md pubmed and click this and click this first one website here you can search any references any book articles so i will go to the advance option now in the all field you can see the type of searching by author name by book by date by publisher like that suppose i am searching here ferrites this is my one query so add this one now you can search suppose magnetic properties add this one also now you can search here so this will generate a list of references like this you can select any reference from here like this or you can copy this query from here copy this one now again open the google and type techmed and click on this first site 
Now paste your query here and search. So it received 218 references related to your query. So you can select multiple references here then export them. So by clicking export you will find the references in this format and copy these all references from here and paste into your project. So this is your bib file I am pasting all contact here. Now my bib file or references file is ready to use. Now we will click on the sample file. So this is the AIP template sample. You can search for the IEEE science direct elsewhere any type of journal. So by changing the text in the template you can prepare your own article. So I am giving some demonstration how you can change the text here. So let us suppose first I am going to open my manuscript so that I can change them. Let us suppose this is my manuscript in the word format written for the AIP conference proceeding. So here is the very first is the title. So I will copy this title here and now look for the title here. The title goes here. So click on this arrow or double click over this. You will find the title page. So title page is here. You can copy this title here and replace your own text. Now you can run or recompile this. Let us see the changes. Yeah, now title is changed as per your needs. Suppose you want to change this. So you need a command enter dollar here then enclose dollar and type underscore here and see the change. like this. Now you can change the author names by typing name here. I am giving my own name here. So you can include many authors here as you wish. Then the corresponding email address. So type your email address here. Then you can define the affiliation here. So you can copy your affiliation from the manuscript like this one. And replace this text with your affiliation. Again we recompile it and observe the changes. So title is there, author name is there, my affiliation is there, my email id is there. So you can edit author's name, their email address and their affiliations. Now you can copy your abstract from your word file like from here to this and copy this abstract into the paper. So this is the abstract here. 
So replace this text with your on abstract. Again recompile, you will find your abstract here. So by this way, you can edit everything in your template by replacing text with your on text. Suppose you want to change the heading of this one. So copy this heading from your manuscript that is the introduction and paste this introduction in the section heading. So copy this here. <coughs> you can remove the all text from here and paste here introduction. We can check this. There. So by this way you can change the text, you can change the heading. If you want to change this paragraph, so select all para from here up to the first subsection heading and copy your text from your paper like this. Copy this and replace here. And again recompile the file. Your text is there. Suppose you would, would like to give reference here. So at the last of this page here, if suppose you want to define any references, then type the command site. Now you can search any references from your bib file. So suppose I will I am clicking on the bib file, this one, and copying any reference from here. So I am copying suppose this first one reference. So this is the ID of the reference, copy this ID and again open that file and paste where you type the site. Suppose this is the site, so I am going to paste it here. Now you can again recompile this. Here you can watch, you got the reference. That is the reference number one. At the last, you will find the reference. Here, this is the reference. The references you have copied in the B file. There are total six references you have copied. So, this way you can uh, insert the references in your manuscript. Now, if you would like to include any figure, table equations then it is very simple to include suppose let us check this file first suppose there is a figure so click double click over this and the command of this text figure is here so here file name is figure underscore one we will change this one and our file figure 1 is there. So select from here figure 1. So by naming the figure file, you can call that figure in your manuscript. So recompile this manuscript. The figure is included in the paper. You can change the caption also. Figure caption. For figure caption, suppose I am copying the caption of any figure from the my paper. Suppose this is a figure and this is the figure caption. 
copy this big caption from here and put this caption in here copy this here so you will see the caption below the figure yeah caption is now changed now if you want to include second level heading so it can be done by using the command subsection so copy any second level heading from your manuscript like suppose this optical properties and paste at here that is the second level heading now replace this text with the, your manuscript so you can select as you want suppose up to this I am selecting and replacing with this text so copy from here then paste now if you want to insert any equation then it can be done by the command begin equation then end equation so you can put your equation in between these two so replace this by typing your own equation suppose you are typing x square plus y square equals to 4 you can delete unwanted text from your text file in the last you can edit the conclusion part so can you can copy your conclusion of the paper like this and paste over this text now once again recompile the file So your PDF is now ready. You can edit other parts also. So now you can download this PDF file from here or you can directly submit to the AIPCP. So by clicking on this, your file will be downloaded. So this way you can prepare the manuscript for any journal. I demonstrated the AIP template you can search for other templates for AIEEE or any other generals if you have any query regarding the formatting of the paper you can write your comment thank you for watching this video